the Oktoberfest. Did you know that only 19% of the visitors come from abroad? No matter whether they're tourists or locals, many wear traditional costumes. 30% dress in lederhosen or dirndl. The dirndl is originally a work outfit. Country women used to sew the apron from old bed linen. Whether made of cotton or silk, there is one golden rule, valid even today. The gap at the bottom may not be longer than the height of a beer mug. That's 23 centimetres. Around 6.5 million visitors crowd into the Oktoberfest every year. In order to cope with the masses, the city of Munich has accelerated the escalators in the train stations surrounding the Oktoberfest by 2.4 kilometres per hour. That way, 12,500 Wiesen, strollers per hour, make it from the stations to the fairgrounds. That's about the same number of people who work at the Oktoberfest, namely 13,000. Already at the age of nine, he secretly participates. Not this one, this one. More than 100 years ago, the 17-year-old supports his uncle's company as an electrician's helper, equipping the beer tent with light bulbs, the first one ever to be equipped with electrical light. Today, that's standard, and the whole festival consumes about 2.7 million kilowatt hours of electricity. This would provide 1,000 homes with electricity for a whole year. Of course, there must be snacks available at the Oktoberfest too. Especially popular, gingerbread hearts and roasted almonds. Whoever thinks people only drink beer and sway to the music inside the tents is mistaken though. In the Marskal tent, the rich and beautiful like to meet for a glass of champagne. And in 2015, the faithful also celebrated mass. Once every Oktoberfest, a mass is held, which also includes the christening of babies of exhibitors. Traditionally, the beer goes with a pretzel. About 1.5 million pretzels are sold at each Oktoberfest. A giant pretzel contains 600 calories, just as much as two measures of shandy. The Wiesen visitor's favorite food, chicken. About 500,000 so-called Händels are eaten every year. In the record year of 1981, as many as 807,710 chickens ended up on plates. The German Secret Service agents visiting the Oktoberfest every year at the taxpayer's expense might be able to tell you why. They've been treating their foreign colleagues to the Wiesen for years. The entertainment expenses, about 50 euros per agent, are paid for by the German taxpayers. What would the Oktoberfest be without its obligatory toast? A fact many people don't know, the song doesn't originate in Munich, not even in Bavaria. The Wiesen Classic is an import from Chemnitz in Saxony. The Wiesen hosts gladly turn a blind eye, though, because each Prosit der Gemütlichkeit means a turnover of 3,000 euros. Each weekend, the toast can be heard about 80 times, depending on the musician's win. So there you go. Prost! The largest tent at the Oktoberfest is the Hofbräuzelt. It provides space for around 10,000 people. The beer flows freely, in spite of its price of more than 10 euros per mug. On average, every visitor drinks one liter of beer. The Wiesen visitor's great thirst for beer causes the waiting service a great deal of sweat. During just one day, they carry the weight of a compact car from A to B. The pouring is done in record time. 20 beers a minute, 1,200 mugs an hour. Only every fifth mug is filled up to the measuring line. If the visitor notices, they have a right to a refill. Some jokers use that as an excuse to enter a beer tent which has been closed due to overcrowding. Partying does not only take place in Munich. The Oktoberfest is a true export hit. Meanwhile, people celebrate the Wiesen all around the world. 
Altogether, there are 2,000 Oktoberfests spread across the globe.